Hey everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're continuing our e-commerce tutorial. So once a person has added a product to their shopping cart and they are presented with the checkout screen, pretty self-explanatory. And in our last video we saw how to connect your PayPal account to accept the payment. Let's say then a person purchases after they filled everything out and their credit card in, is accepted and a uh, successful sale. Well, how does it look like as the, as the store owner? In the back end, we saw that we have a store section under the settings section with a variety of options, which we've explored on a previous video. Well, what we've also got, if you notice under dashboard, We've also got store upgrades and store sales. Taking a quick look at store upgrades, this is how the plugin developers make their money. Uh, you can buy different functionality for the plugin, different prices. Okay, you can look at that on, on your own. But what we do want to look at is store sales. And this is going to show all of the details of a customer and what product they bought and the date and the time and how much they spent. This is going to be automatically populated once all of the settings of the plugin have been set up and and also plugin uh, and also PayPal. So PayPal will communicate back and forth with your site and update the screen to show is your payment pending? Was your payment declined or was it accepted? So you'll see that here, all of the sales. What you'll also see if you just, when you first log into WordPress, you're going to see under home when you first log in, a brand new section of sales summary. You're going to see your sales for the month, for the total income, of the life of the store the long, as long as it's been active. So you'll be able to see that at a glance as soon as you log in. If your store has been around a while, you can uh, organize things by selecting the financial year. And then you'll get a sales summary by month over the last several months. So all of that comes from installing the WP eCommerce plugin into our WordPress site. And at this point we can consider ourselves pretty full-fledged entrepreneurs selling our own products via our own website.